uh, how did you come across? How did you come to become a spoken word artist? It's, you know, when we met and we, talk, we were talking, and you said you were a spoken word artist. I'm like, what, right. what's, what's even <laughs> that? What is, I know that people who stand up and talk, but I didn't know that was a thing Me, you give your whole yes. life to. How did you come about it? So we started about, interestingly, um, this year makes it a decade of being a spoken word artist. So you started at 10? No, I no, at started 12. at 14. 14 so okay. which was in 2014. And I attend House on the Rock Church. So we mm. used to do a spoken word session every Saturday for about 12 weeks. And at the end of the session, I remember my mentor saying, oh, you've been the most serious student. I think you should take this to the next level. And I started to do competitions. Um, and from there, and interestingly, I didn't start it saying that this is what I want to pursue for the rest of my life. But you know how life aligns and God just aligned you to purpose. And now it's something I want to do for the rest of my life. And yes. you do it very well. Oh, I'm glad that I do it very well. I'm I glad mean, that I, after, I, after I left you, I wasn't like, you know, you've not seen what the person can do. Right. But when I listen to the things you do, and I'll, you also get a chance to hear a bit of it today, hopefully. But I, I, I was impressed. How did you find tune it from them? Because you went on from just being something you do in church to be something you do for a living now. Right. People invite you to big events and you actually give a spoken word yeah. and it's it's uh, it, it's it's it works in a corporate world in the marketplace oh, yes. in the church oh yes. you've been part of the big worship uh, event the experience the experience and yes. uh, how did you find tune it to a stage where it becomes something that has gone as big as it has gone i think that and like I had mentioned earlier, it was something that I realized was a divine alignment. Mm. Because if you had left me, I would have probably never have chosen spoken word. And I think consistency, doing okay. it for about 10 years mm. and having to build that craft. And I looked at the market of spoken word and I was like, okay, what can I do differently? But what I also found out is that it's almost like one thing I know that God told me is that I'm his voice. So I know that my voice is a key thing in what I do. And when people, I, I've had testimonies or even people just say that, oh, your voice, there's just something about, it. it gives me goosebumps. Oh my gosh, I cried when I listened to you. And then there's something else that happens is that when I step on stage, it's almost like I, I become a different person. It's like I, with the dramatics, it's not, I never ever rehearse any of that. It's just, there's just a power to it and a creativity to it. And when I write, I'm, I'm writing based off of relativity. Like mm. um, I'm thinking of SpongeBob. I'm thinking of the things that we all know that just feels familiar. I'm thinking of names, countries. I'm thinking of government. I'm thinking of music, Afrobeats. I'm a piano. How can I infuse these things that people are able to get the message, but also find it entertaining as well? And we need that so much in this age. I Please like this video and leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell button and share this video with somebody.